to the camera to say hi to you, but there is a lot of duck poop right here, a lot. So every place we go is a mine, so we're careful. By the way, be careful with yourself and hit that subscribe button if you would please. Notify yourself every time a new Build Your Wealth, the Trade Your Wealth podcast comes out. This is Jeff Jr. How you doing? I'm doing good, Russell. Okay. Not only doing? are there bombs, I'm doing great. Not only are there bombs here, there are. there are scam bombs everywhere. I got, I almost got scammed the other day. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, on, I'm at a restaurant. I get a phone call three or four times. They keep calling. They keep, they won't stop. Mm -hmm. I pick it up. Hi, this is uh, Chase Fraud. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and then they say, we got a charge in Texas, and here's the last four digits of your credit card, and here's your address. And and it kept going, mm -hmm. and it was sounding real legit. It did. Until he said something yeah. weird, and then I went, mm, mm -hmm. I don't think so. And they give you a little bit of information saying, oh, you must know something about me, and they're all phishing scams. That, that, yes. That's just what's going on. They're looking to get more and more information from you. They have a little bit on you, but they want more and more. Right. You know, I got an email the other day, and it was a it was a very long email. Yeah. And he said, I have access to all of your email information. I have access to your servers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You need to wire me $1,500 worth of Bitcoin, and uh, I'll leave you alone. Ooh. And if you don't do it within 24 hours, then you're going to have trouble. And what'd you do? Deleted it. Okay. Reported it to our IT department and deleted it. Nice. No, now, another phishing scam. Well, I was very fortunate a little while ago. There was this Nigerian prince that wrote me. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me of all... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. There's a lot of scams going yep, on there out are. there. Yep. And this is tax season. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, one good thing is um, they have extended tax season for this year, correct? They have. Yes, they have. Give, give us a little bit more time to uh, prepare for, for taxes because of this COVID deal. Although I would think with the COVID deal, you've been sitting at home on your butt, you got time to do your taxes. <laughs> you'd think. You'd, you'd think. <laughs> hey. don't, don't put any pressure on anybody to do anything. Yeah, don't do anything. Just take another nap. You got time. Free money will even defer your taxes. <laughs> That's right. Well, what is going on? Is there are scams with tax season? What kind of things are happening? Oh, there, there's quite a few. I had to create a list here. So, oh, okay. You, you know, the, one of the big ones, they're all phishing scams. So they're all seeking some information. You know, one of the biggest scams is really relating to COVID, though, with, your, with the stimulus. Check. So a okay. lot of people recently received their, their stimulus checks. Right. And so they're contacting you saying, we're going to defer or delay your stimulus check unless you contact us and give us some information. Hmm. So it could be a call from the IRS. It could be a call from any kind of legitimate government agency, but it's not actually a it's not the legitimate right. government agency that's Hey, listen, give me your, your uh, social security number just to confirm who you are. Right. We need, we need to confirm right. some identity. Give mm -hmm. us your social security number. Oh, by the way, we need some banking information. Right. We have, you know, so it's, y you just have to feel it out a little bit. And you'll see that uh, maybe they're not speaking proper English. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they are speaking proper English, but there's maybe a word or two that just doesn't fit very well. And usually all of these scams involve text messaging is very popular now. And a lot of these scams also are involving just phone calls. They're giving mm -hmm. you a call. You might receive a call from the IRS saying, I'm the I'm an IRS agent and I need XYZ information. Just know that the IRS is never going to call you. I was going to say, did the IRS make a lot of phone they, calls? They just don't give you a call. Yeah. It's, it's hard enough calling them. They're not going to call you. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, you know, one of the things that tipped me off with that, the fake chase guy was there was a bunch of sirens. There was a whole bunch of noise in the room. I was like, yeah. okay, right. they're not going to be in a bank tower where you're right. hearing sirens going right. off. Right. They're right. going to be at a huge call center. Right. Yeah. So, okay. So that's right. one tip, the call. Right. Um, what else are you seeing? Well, another one is they use a, a form, a W8BEN. I've never heard of this one before, okay. but they're asking us, we're going to send you this form. It looks like a legitimate form and you're going to give us this personal information and we're going to use this form to release your stimulus or to release your tax refund. We understand that you have a tax refund coming due. We need you to fill out this form to make sure that you can claim this tax refund. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of a, a lot of scams out there, especially because of this COVID deal. And basically, from what I understand, you're the expert, you'll tell me, it mm -hmm. seems that all of the stimulus money is coming off the 2019 returns. And so if you got it before, there's no reason to call you again right. to get any more right. information. Right, or verify your bank account information, or we need to release some information. Um, you know, another one was about uh, gift cards that I saw. You had to buy some gift cards in order to receive a benefit. You know, just know you'll never have to buy right. gift cards 
to receive a benefit, whether it be a refund or the, yeah. or the stimulus. What we need you to do is buy $500 of Domino's gift cards and send right. us the numbers right, right, right now. That's right, that's right. <laughs> the IRS, it, they can buy their own pizza. It, it, and the sad thing is it's it works. Yeah. There, there's a certain amount of population that really gets duped by this, and you just have to know if it just doesn't sound legitimate, if mm. it just doesn't seem real, then don't pursue it. And if you feel it is a legitimate call from the IRS, hang up with them and then call the actual IRS and find out if that was the case. Exactly. So use use discretion in just providing people your personal information. Mm -hmm. They exist for a reason and unfortunately they work in many cases. You know, the Chase scam for mine, I ended up hanging up with a guy, then I called Chase to verify mm -hmm. and then I canceled my ATM card just via my debit card just because he knew too many numbers, right. so now there's no way they can get me. Yep, so that's right. Yep, I think that's, that's a right. smart thing that, to do. That's right. And a lot of times the banks are on the hook, so they want to cooperate with you. They're right. they're 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 trying to track down these perpetrators as well. So okay. work with your bank, work with the IRS, work with whomever's sending you money, but just don't provide all your personal information to these people. Um, tax preparers, they're mm -hmm. all over the place. You know, you always know they're good when they've got a guy outside in a. Uncle Sam costume dancing sure. around. Sure. You know those guys are good. Um, do you have any suggestions on how to find a good tax preparer in this tax season? Well, again, just like anything, and, and looking for a great financial advisor, it's mm -hmm. the same thing. You have to use uh, proper questions. You have to ask questions. Do you feel comfortable? Do you like the person? Does he give you the responses that you're looking for? You know, and I'd say as far as tax tax returns specifically, in many cases, you don't need a professional, depending on how hard or easy your return is. Mm -hmm. uh, our chief marketing officer is an example. She used to have a tax preparer for many years, uh, but she actually did her own returns and she was very proud of doing her own returns. You know, over the last few years, they've made uh, they've made the the filing process a lot easier and it's not as daunting as a lot of people think. But okay. um, just like in, in, in looking for anybody and looking for a trusted professional, ask questions, Make sure you're on the same page. Make sure you agree with their answers and don't just settle on somebody just to make it easy on yourself. Now, the woman that's working with you did her own taxes. Have they come and taken her house yet? Not yet, Not yet. but I'll okay. keep you posted. We'll give you an update <laughs> if that's the case. It just looks like it's going okay. And then um, if I've already done my taxes for this year, am I at risk for any scams? Uh, of course, yeah. There's a lot of scams out there and it really has to do with your refund. You know, refund is money, so these scammers are wanting to get your refund. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be contacting you and saying, provide us X amount of information to get your refund. Now, they don't know that you have a refund coming. Right. It's just, it's, it's just a blanket call that they're that they're posting out there. Right. But they can really tug at your heartstrings saying, you need my, me to buy a gift card. I need you to provide my bank account information so that we can direct deposit your refund into it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I want my refund. Yeah, here's my bank account information. When is my refund going to hit? It's going to hit within the next couple of days. Oh, man, whatever. it's coming in a couple that, of minutes. That, that's exactly right. right. Yeah. So so there's a lot of scams, mm -hmm. okay. for sure. Right. Just be cautious. Be, be cautious. cautious. Just know the IRS will never contact you saying, give us your bank account information because we want to deposit your refund. Right. Well, don't fall for the scams. One place where you can go to make sure that your money is uh, managed the proper way, Trajan Wealth, right? Trajan Wealth, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys do? Well, we're we're <laughs> we're a financial services firm. We we've been doing this for what a year. I know, but what if what, what if, if they my don't friend here is right. watching? This is the first time they've ever yeah. seen the show. Well, we're we're a we're probably a full, heard you on the radio. We're a full service financial services firm, okay. and we deal with uh, people saving for their retirement, whether it's uh, somebody in retirement or somebody that's close to retirement, okay. and we help them plan and prepare and draw income from their investments to reach their retirement goals. Another thing that I'd add is we also added Trajan Estate. Yes. So Trajan Estate, we do trusts and we do wills because I find that all too often too many people aren't prepared for what happens to their money when they pass. Okay. So we have estate attorneys on staff. And by the way, if you've missed those shows, just go back a couple. We did a whole month's worth of shows on Trajan Estate and probate, which I learned very, you don't want. No. You don't want no probate. You don't want probate. All right. There's all kinds of things. I, I learned in that, and I know you will too. So just go um, and hit the subscribe subscribe button. <coughs> no, that's not COVID related. Everybody else, everybody's going, get their mask on quick. Uh, no. Uh, it's, a little, it's a little chilly. It is chilly. Yeah, look yeah, at her. She is. did. She really, she pulled her mask up. Right. Okay. All right. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And hey, even if I had the COVID, you couldn't get it through the, the TV. Never know. You may be in trouble. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. Hey, we appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button. Be sure you get notified. 
every time there's a brand new Build Your Wealth, the Trade Your Wealth program podcast. And uh, go back and take a look at some of the shows in the library. There's some really good information there. Share with a friend, too. We sure appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm Rusty Humphreys. That there is Jeff Jr. And this is Build Your Wealth with Trade Your Wealth featuring Jeff Jr. Investment advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, an SEC-registered investment advisor.